I was robbed. And here's what happened. I want to mess with the smoke, dog. <laughs> Welcome back guys, welcome back. Since the last video that I uploaded, so much has happened to me. I woke up Thursday with the intentions of bringing you guys a vlog. I had my whole day mapped out, started shooting some footage, which I'll insert right here. <laughs> at this point and I'm ready to go to the gym about to take my pre-workout here in a sec but for the time being we're gonna lay in here with Frank oh never mind Frank you're fake y'all see a sub count y'all thought I was kidding we really gonna hit 100k look at how nice it is and that's how hot it is in Florida it's fogging up As you can see, I was having a great day. You know, everything's going smooth. And I was robbed. And here's what happened. If I want to mess with the smoke, dog. <laughs> hey, who's that? It ain't them niggas that act hard. The oh, shit! It's the ones to put the slugs in your ass and tell your ass to knock. I can't really say too much about, like, the, the whole incident or like how it happened or what happened it messes with me it messes with me dude it really messes with me because i don't i don't go out of my way to be nasty to anybody i don't like i really don't i try to put positivity out there in the world because there's not enough of it and i almost die i almost lose my life over a freaking phone if anything what i do want you guys to take from this video is just be safe guys be safe most importantly live every day like it's your last because truly you really don't know like you don't know because this isn't this doesn't happen to just people people don't just walk away from the situation that i walked away from i can't really give you guys details as you know it just happened today so i'm sure there's you know investigations and all of that so i just can't really speak on it but i was a little shaken up um a little scared a little nervous and just overall just like confused because the phone wasn't even like worth that much the phone was only worth like 200 plus bucks 250 something like that sub 300 dollars. so yeah that's why the video yesterday didn't drop i know a lot of you guys are expecting them every tuesday every thursday but without further ado let's go ahead and hop right into this video if you haven't already subscribe i upload two times a week in my first stages like when i first started my locks i didn't work out as much the reason that i didn't is because i just couldn't figure out how to work out and maintain my retwist so that's why i'm bringing you guys this video say you just started your locks and you're looking to work out use a do-rag the do-rag works well it'll keep your locks in place and in my opinion, I feel like it absorbs more of the sweat. Whereas if you guys were using like a stocking cap or, you know, like the little mesh net type cap that goes like this, I just don't feel like that was absorbing enough sweat. So I would just literally have like sweat, you know, dripping down my face and I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God, sweat. I'd say the bandana would probably be the best or scarf, bandana or scarf. So either of the two would be best for you guys. It all boils down to the method, guys. If you're doing two strand twists, when you work out, you won't really have as much of a problem as somebody that's the palm roll method. And this is due to the fact that the palm roll method, just the nature of them, you know, literally the loctician taking your hand and just grabbing your hair and doing that to it. I'd say the number one rule to working out with starter locks or with dreadlocks, always put something on your head. Currently, I'm using the um, I don't have it here, but I currently use like a headband that just kind of sits like right here and that in my opinion works well for me just anytime you go work out anytime you know you're gonna be sweating and you just got your hair maintenance done just put something on it you know whether it be a bonnet anything fun fact little extra bonus tip for you guys wash your face guys why it's very important i mean unless you don't care 
but I'm recently just now getting my face to be like under control. Like I'm just now st not having like gross. Granted, you know, I'm still working on it. It's a work in progress. But I grew up with really bad skin and just as of recently, I've just like finally gotten it under control. And I'm 23 guys, 23. I went through my whole high school, whole high school with the, with the pizza face. <laughs> whole, all of my college years I went, I always had like terrible skin. I had like a random breakout, eat something out of my diet and just pickle just everywhere, just like dreadlocks if you just wash your face and keep the oils off of the the skin itself you'll find it to do you wash your face after working out it'll help you you'll thank me later it'll prevent your pores from getting clogged thus preventing a breakout no one wants a breakout i was watching another channel and i don't i don't ever want to i'm never going to discredit another person's channel i respect every person that's here in the platform i respect every person that stands in front of the camera and speaks because it's a lot harder than what you know a lot of people may put on to be but i did see where someone was saying oil your hair before you work out i'm just going to tell you guys don't oil your hair before you work out please don't i've done this and i did this because there wasn't a video on how to work out with your dreadlocks i just would have like this weird white line i know you guys know what i'm talking about when you like work out real hard or you're sweating real hard you get that like ring like i know you know what i'm talking about those of you that that get your hair cut you know sometimes you get your hair that that line up and you get that white line okay so imagine that just down your face just a big strip just chin strap <laughs> So how often should you wash them when you're working out, when you're just starting off? I wouldn't really recommend working out more than two times before washing your hair. Anytime I work out like two times, like if I work out today, tomorrow, the next day, I'll at least like, you know, give it a light wash. Dirt out of it, get the sweat out of it. Just because I don't like my hair to stink. Like I really don't like it. You know, I don't really recommend going long periods of time without washing your hair. That's just not clean, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, cut and dry. I, I don't know where the myth came from. Don't wash your hair for a month. It'll help your hair lock fast. Like, no, bro. It doesn't, okay? It doesn't make your hair lock faster. It doesn't. Clean hair will lock faster than dirty hair any day of the week. Don't at me. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. I'll try to get this video to you guys no later than like 6 p.m., you know? So if you haven't already, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you Tuesday. P -p Peace.